Have you ever wondered how people drag themselves up in the air? Or how streamers look at their chat inside of VR? Well that's possible through OpenVR. Steam VR software layer between your VR headset and VR chat. There are many apps that utilize OpenVR to add new features to Steam VR. So in this video, I wanted to show you the must-have applications you should download to enhance your VR experience. So first up we have OVR Advanced Settings. A free software that lets you manipulate different aspects of Steam VR, like fixing your play space or changing your audio settings in a more advanced way. But most importantly is the play space drag feature. Mostly used by FPT users who drag themselves up in the air when they're sitting or when they use a small AVI. I would say OVR Advanced Settings is my number one most important VR app to have installed. The next one is especially interesting for people without full body tracking. If you don't want to spend a fortune on expensive VR trackers, you can take a look at Sandable, a full body estimation software that predicts the movements you do in real life. So don't get me wrong, this does not use the cameras on your VR headset to see what you do IRL. You gotta think of it more like an enhanced IK that VRChat already uses. Sandable is not perfect, but it does already look so much better than the default half body movements. Sandable currently costs 20 US dollars on Steam, but if you want to try it out first, there's a free demo available to download. OVR Toolkit and Access Overlay are two apps that practically do the same thing. So here it usually comes down to personal preference. I have been using OVR Toolkit for years now, to either look at my chat whenever I'm streaming, reading the script of a video, or to even just quickly check the battery percentage of my VR hardware. Some people prefer Access Overlay over OVR Toolkit, because it's simpler to use in many ways, where OVR Toolkit is much more complex. OVR Toolkit comes in with a price of 12 US dollars where Access Overlay is a bit cheaper, coming in with 10 US dollars. If you consider streaming in VR, you should definitely get one of these two. Last up we got Turn Signal, a VR utility to keep your headset's cord from being twisted and tangled up. It shows a simple graphic on your PlaySpace floor that visually represents how tangled your cable is. It's also pretty customizable and is completely free. So there you have it, 4 must have VR apps you should definitely get. All the links are in the description. Don't forget to check out my Twitter. I sometimes post cool stuff there. Till then, bye.